an opinion to a reasonable degree of medical certainty on the cause of Mr. Floyd's death? Yes, I have. Uh, would you please tell the jury what that opinion or opinions are? Yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Floyd died from a low level of oxygen and this caused damage to his brain that we see and it also caused uh, a PEA arrhythmia that caused his heart to stop. And by uh, PEA, you mean pulseless electrical activity? Correct. It's a particular form of an abnormal beat of the heart, or an arrhythmia, and a particular form of it. Is this what um, some persons might refer to as asphyxia? Yes, it has been called asphyxia. To me, it, it's not terribly helpful. It just what we're really talking about is a low level of oxygen. Other people talk about hypoxia. That again is just a Latin term meaning a low level of oxygen. So all of this is just really other words for a phenomenon that is a low level of oxygen. Have you formed an opinion to a reasonable degree of medical certainty as to what the cause is uh, or was for the low level of oxygen in Mr. Floyd? Yes, I have. Would you tell us what that is? The cause of the low level of oxygen was shallow breathing, small breaths, small tidal volumes, shallow breaths that weren't able to carry the air through his lungs down to the essential areas of the lungs that get oxygen into the blood and get rid of the carbon dioxide. That's the alveoli at the bottom of the lung. Do you have an opinion to a reasonable degree of medical certainty as to whether a person who had none of those pre-existing health conditions, a healthy person, would have died under the same circumstances as Mr. Floyd? Yes, a healthy person subjected to what Mr. Floyd was subjected to would have died as a result of what he was subjected to.